it's Peller today and I hope you guys like the preview of this directional blur transition I'm going to be showcasing to you guys today. And this was a requested tutorial, so if you guys have any ideas on tutorial tutorials I can make, please comment that down below. And if you guys don't know, I have a website called editingvisuals.com where I have some yeah, pretty really cool editing packs that's going to help you out with your editing. So if you want to step up your editing game, be sure to check out the website. Now let's get into the tutorial. And here I've added some footage, I'm going to be adding the transition in between. So I'm going to start off by adding an adjustment layer by pressing Ctrl Alt Y. And I'm going to make it 10 frames in width. So it's going to be something like that. I'm going to go to my first transition point. I'm going to make a marker on the adjustment layer by pressing the star key. And here I'm going to be adding directional blur. And I'm going to go to the beginning of the adjustment layer. Keyframe the blur length. Then go to the uh, transition point. Drag it up to 200. Then go to the ending. Set it to zero. I'm going to be opening up the adjustment layer, effects, directional blur, mark the keyframes, press F9, then select the keyframe and open up the graph. Here I'm going to make a simple sharp graph like this here. And you guys can see when you add this effect, you get this, these black parts basically uh, at the bottom. But if you guys add motion tile and add it above the directional blur effect, Increase the output height and output width. I'm gonna set it to 200, and I usually check mirror edges as well. This is the transition. Very very simple, but still very clean. Now, if you guys want to save this as a preset, uh, mark your effects by pressing Ctrl A, then hold Ctrl and mark your keyframes. Go to animation, save animation preset, and then name it. Directional blur transition, press save, and your transition will be saved. Very, very simple. Uh, as I said, still very clean transition to have. And you guys can, after that, if you want to use it for your other clips in your project, just press Ctrl D, go to the next clip, for example. And here you guys can uh, change the direction of the blur. So maybe we want to have it 90 degrees. It's going to look something like this instead. Just an example. Pretty clean and a simple transition. And if you guys like this tutorial, don't forget to like and subscribe and share the tutorial. Don't forget to check out my website, editingvisuals.com. And also don't forget to check out my socials, join my Discord server, and I'll see you guys soon. Take care and have a nice day.